Here's everything you need to know about the NFL's new kickoff rule. It's gonna look a lot like the XFL's kickoff rule. The kicker's gonna be at the 35, but the kickoff team is gonna start on the other 40 yard line, only five yards away from the blockers. These guys won't be able to move until the ball is touched by the returner. Now, the end zone to the 20 yard line will be known as the landing zone, and this is where the returner or returners will set up. If the ball is caught in this zone, it must be returned. There are no more fair catches. Remember, this rule is to encourage returns. The return rate last year was only 22%. So to incentivize that, touchbacks are much harsher to the kicking team. So let's break that down. If the kick doesn't reach the landing zone, the ball is placed at the 40 yard line. If it goes out of the end zone or flies into the end zone and is down like a normal touchback, the ball will be placed at the 35. If it hits in the landing zone and then rolls into the end zone and is down, the ball will be placed at the 20. But again, this is all to incentivize them kicking it into the landing zone. And if it's caught in the landing zone, it must be returned. Now, what about onside kicks? Well, the actual kick will look the exact same. The only difference is the team has to declare it to the referee, who will then notify the receiving team, which means there's no more surprise onside kicks. So, do you think this rule change will be good for the league? 